Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today we got in store something pretty sweet, something I'm excited about. I bought another collection of cards, actually a little bit bigger one, uh, maybe the biggest one I've ever bought off of eBay. Uh, just the amount of cards. I'm not really sure what's inside it. That's what we're going to check out and open up today. All I know is it came in two big old boxes, way bigger than I expected. I honestly thought it wasn't going to be this big. That maybe just be a box about this size right here, but they're quite big and I got two of them. I'm pretty sure they're both cards in there. Um, yeah, I did buy this off eBay. You can see right here, this is the listing I had. It cost me $25 and then $8.30 for shipping. And it was just, it showed a bit of rares. Um, showed a bit of rares. You can see right there, just like a booklet of rares. And then also just a bunch of bulk cards like that. And that's really all it said. And I messaged uh, the seller and I was like, does it include all the cards? What's going on here? Is it like, uh, and he said, yep, it just includes all the cards. I stopped counting at 1500 and he's like, good luck. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. So I took a gamble on it. And that's what this is. These are a gamble. Don't expect to make money on these. Just do it for fun and uh, to check out the cards, see some older cards and art. I really have no idea what's inside of here. It looked like some of the rares in the booklets, uh, or the little... Uh, page uh, card holders or some older sets so I'm excited to see that anyways let's just dive into this and see what's about one thing that was a bummer is um when I did receive this box you can see right here it looks to be almost open and I, you can reach in there and pretty much just like uh, cards could have been falling out I have no idea and there would be no way for me to know ever <laughs> but anyways let's just open this and see what's about giant boxes hope you're all having a wonderful day today let's just have fun and see what's inside here. I covered up all my information on the side of this box and just take the scissors and I'm going to take out everything and see, just see what it looks like. It looks like, oh goodness gracious, just like in there with some bubble wrap. Okay, let's set this to the side. Take out the bubble wrap, just a big thing of bubble wrap. Oh wow, it's a very thick pamphlet of cards. Let's just set these here. I'm actually very excited about this. I thought it was a pretty good price for a lot of cards, and I'm just really excited. I'm not sure how I'm going to go through this. I'm probably going to go through it a bit quicker than I usually do, just to show the cards I think are notable, memorable, or ones that just call out to me, just because there's so many. I know these videos are going to be longer, so keep in mind, these will be longer. It looks like there was some rubber bands. I'm not sure if they were rubber banded, but then they just like got shifted around, and cards spewed everywhere. They're just honestly in a giant pile in there kind of no right or reason and at the bottom I can see some of the booklets I'm not sure what they're called like the ultra pole like uh, booklet holders let's just see. keep just want to get all the loose cards out first there's quite a few of them quite a few of them not sure if it's just gonna be a bunch of commons or uncommons or or whatnot but we're gonna find out together just trying to get these in some sort of order there we go go through these all some more rubber bands as well just a couple be nice for the kitchen so I'll keep these just I got like four rubber bands I don't know why they're in there and not around the cards I'm assuming they fell off the cards and then you can see just have uh, a bunch of pamphlets right here that I'm excited to go through as well so I'll save these for last to be honest but that looks like quite a bit actually uh, more than the picture showed and there is a foil on there how cool is that so I'll just set these to the side right now that is the inside of box one and then let's go ahead and open up box two it definitely does sound like cards in there I'm gonna set these just up here just to see cool I'm excited some older rares I see some like uh what is it? Onslaught going on right there. Some Odyssey, some Invasion, some Time Spiral or Planet Shift. Now I'm trying to open this other box right here. Uh, this other one is sealed much better. Doesn't look like any cards slipped out. So I thought this lot was just uh, an exciting one. It was only listed for a little bit, and I thought it'd be worth it. Hopefully I'm not coming through cards right now. Let's just see. Goodness, I definitely could be coming through cards. I hope not. <laughs> there we go. And it looks like these ones are in rubber bands. Looks like huge, just thrown in there rubber bands. Look like a Mercadian Masks card. It does look like there is a rare here. So I don't know if all the rares are in there. I'm, I'm assuming not. And these do look like there are some older cards. I've just knocked down a giant pile. And then there's just a lot of 
there's going to be a lot of cards to go through here. So I'm going to be going through them at the speed that I feel comfortable with and showing you all and pointing out the notable ones if I know any notable ones at all. Anyways, I'm just really excited. I always enjoy getting lots like this just to seeing the cards and just having fun with it. Again, more rubber bands. Some of them fell off again. Just huge stack of cards. So many cards. <laughs> I have no idea how many cards this is. He just said, or she just said, they stopped counting at 1,500. And I was like, all right, I'll take a gamble and I'll take it. So that is all of the cards, quite a bit of them. All right, let me just get this pile up here. And then I guess start going through the single cards. All right, just set these to the side. And I'm going to be making piles, I guess, of common. Uh, I see a Dark Ritual right here. Great card. Awesome. I'll start with this one. Urza Saga. Dark Ritual. How great is that? One black at three black gem mana pool. So that's a common card. And I'll just set these piles here. So I'll be setting them in piles of common, uncommon, and rare. Looks like a Mercadian Mask card. An uncommon destroy target land. A Reign of Tears. So many cards to go through right here. So bear with me. Be patient. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Hopefully the weather is wonderful. Got myself a Torment Common. Got a Tar Fire. Sky Shroud Elf. This is from Tempest. So some Tempest cards. A couple of those. It looks like they are in order. And I do have a place out of those. So I'm not sure if these are going to be in groups of four or not. But I'll set these in their own pile. Because these are before they had different color for the rarity. So I'll just set these in an older pile. I'm not sure what symbol this is. Uh, I never... This is Lorwyn. I think it's Lorwyn. It looks like some of them are in... Order. This is, um, I forgot which symbol this is to Morning Tude. I got a Changeling, War Spike Changeling. How cool is that? Uh, this is an Uncommon. This is from Weatherlight. Interesting. So, Agonizing Memories. Uh, there's two Weatherlights and then a sixth edition here. So, it looks like they are in kind of some sort of order. Put these here. And this is an Uncommon. Got a Parch from Urga's Saga, I believe. Got three of those. Got an Incinerate from uh, Mirage, got a Kindle from Tempest, Yavamaya's en Enchantress, it's uncommon, quite a few cards here, love these multicolor borders right here, Steel Leaf Paladin, another Changeling, uh, some double cards, Assault in Battery, got a Cabal Ritual, that's a great card as well, one and a black to add three to your mana pool, and if you have Threshold, it adds five to your mana pool instead, five black to your mana pool, so it's like a different form of Dark Ritual, I guess, a little more expensive, but it can give you more payoff, cool, that's from Torment. Got a Dark Banishing from Mirage. Got an Agonizing Demise. Got a Pit Scorpion. Mm, I'll set this here. I believe that's from Chronicles. These are going to be some big piles at the end. And I feel like I'm just going to go through them at the speed that I think is the best. Uh, an Odyssey. This is Think Tank. An Uncommon. Got an Organ Grinder. Got a Fairy. Fairy Search. How great is that? Cool. I'm not sure what card this is. Uh, I think twice. Is this from like Time Shifted or something like that? Some more Urza's Legacy. Some more. Uh, just so many cards to go through. I'm not sure if I'm going to notice half of them uh, of what's uh, noteworthy. Uh, f Frog Tosser at Banneret. Look at the art on these cards. Absolutely great. Look at all these fairies. It'd be sweet to make like a fairy sort of deck. Like a dark little fairy deck. Got Plague Spores. How cool is that? Flame with Balvin, another Yavamaya Enchantress. Fertile Ground, looks like they are again. Got different versions of Fertile Ground. Uh, Urzo's Saga uh, Invasion, I believe. And then what is this, a Morning Tude? I'm not sure. All different versions of the same card. So it looks like whoever owned these had them in some sort of order, or at least knew what they were at one point. I'm not sure if the uh, person I bought it from knew really much about them. They sold a bunch of different sports cards and uh, random little knickknacks, nothing else. Game, tra uh, tra game Trail Changeling. Got a F Phantasmal Terrain. What is this? 5th uh, edition, I believe. Looks like I did get a rare right here. Sky Shroud Approacher. This is directly drawn by Ron Spencer. 3 and tap. Search your library for an elf card. Put that card into play and then shuffle your library. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> That's a pretty cool card. So, looks like there is just a bit of everything in here. Got Curon Elves. Oh, this is a, a nice card as well. Oh, this one is a great common as well. A Priest of uh, Titan. Titanium, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. One and a green. Uh, tap add green to your mana pool for each elf in play. This is a great common, actually coming up in price as well. Set this to side right there. Elvish, a uh, guild dancer. A uh, Lanoir Sentinel. Weather light. Got fire and ice. Cool card. I really like these split cards. Always thought of cutting them in half and just using them as tiny little decks. 
Twisted Experiment uh, Horror Creature from Tempest, Erberg Siphon Mage. This is from, um, what is this, uh, Exodus, uh, Carnophage. During your upkeep, pay one life or tap Carnophage. A Drain Life, another Dark Ritual, great card as well. Um, a Horror, a Duress, great card. Looks like there is a Revised card in here. That's cool. I didn't know if there'd be any revised cards, and clearly there is. There's Erg Raiders, so cool. Who knows what's inside these over here? I'm excited. Uh, definitely Ron Spencer, Prodigal Sorcerer. Uh, this is, I believe, 4th or 5th edition. I can't uh, think right now. Wall of Essence, Soul Warden. Got a couple of those. Burst of Energy, Pacifism. A couple Pacifisms. Another Pacifism from Mirage. Got a, um, what is this? Contemplation. Couple of those from Stronghold, so there's some Stronghold here going on. Got White Knight, a uh, great card. First Strike, Protection from Black. Uh, Benilis Trapper, Master Decoy. Reminds me of the art from the card Humble or Humility, I can't remember. Uh, Prison Barricade, uh, this is from Planet Shift, I believe. Uh, Sunscape Familiar. A uh, Green Spells and Blue Spells you play, cost one less to, get, uh, to play. How cool is that? Holy Strength, great card. Another Holy Strength, 7th edition. This is. Uh, the fifth edition, uh, a wall, alabaster wall. I got the simian grunts. Again, going on with the grunts again. Got two more of them. Got some more cards. A stream of unconsciousness. I think that's actually a pretty good card as well. Stream of unconsciousness, and I got three of those. Uh, protective bubble, uh, dawn fluke. Great cards. This is such a cool set. Got a century oak going on right here. Got a Lair with Dryan. Got a Stony Brook Schoolmaster. Fun R right there. Looks like some sort of teacher. Hillcomb Giant. Uh, Entanglement Trap. Uncommon. Look at this guy. He's got a big nose. Got a third eye. An eyeball on his head. Another Entanglement Trap. Uh, Quadrant Barrage. Search, surge of Thought Weft. Graceful a Reprieve. Oblivion Ring. I didn't know that Oblivion Ring came out in here. I thought this was a different card. This is a common. Uh, Spring Jack Knight, Entangling Trap. Looks like I got a little bit of marker on my finger. Oh, that's probably from marking off my address. Got a Shiftweed Knights. So a bunch of cards from these sets. I didn't play much with these sets when I was younger. I think it's like Morning Tune and stuff like that. Another Fertile Ground. Another Curion Elves. I did get a rare from Judgment. Testa of Endurance. Two and two white. At the beginning of your upkeep, you have 50 more life. You win the game. Cool card. Looks like uh, they're wrestling. Beating each other with big old sticks. This is drawn by Mike Pluke. Taunting Elf. This is from Urga's Destiny, I believe. Taunting Elf. All creatures able to block Taunting Elf do so. Really great. You can attack with it and have a bunch of other creatures on the field, and they have to block this. Another Priest card. Great card. Judgment. The Blitz. Look at this. Put X11 Red Cat creature tokens with haste into play. Remove them from the game at the end of turns. Flashback for 2 and X. So that's pretty sweet. You can just flash out a bunch of creatures. Um, the... I got another scratch out poacher as well. You can flash out a bunch of cat creatures. How fun is that? Got a Corian Elves again. Sky Shroud Elves. Uh, Chosen. Uncommon. Well Wish. I'm excited. This is a really good mix of cards from all sorts of sets. I believe this was this one person's collection. Probably from his whole life. I'm, I'm just guessing. Some more rares it looks like. Voice of the Woods. 3 and 2 green. Elf Lord. Tap 5 untapped elves you control. Put a 7 7 green. Elemental creature token with trample to play. It's 2-2. Two, two. Big old, you can tap five elves and make a big old tree. How cool is that? Especially an elf deck. You're going to have a lot of elves out. This is from Onslaught. This is another uh, rare elf. Add one green mana pool for each force you control. It's a 2 1 for Raphaelios, Lanoir, Emissary. Great card. Two green. Add one green to mana pool for each force you control. So you got five force out. Tap, you make five green. And this is going to be an elf deck. So obviously, lots of green. Great card. I'm excited to see some rares actually in these piles and not just in the pamphlets right there. Another Well Wisher, Sky Shroud Elf. Another Voice of the Woods. Uh, there's quite a few cards here. This is really great to see. I feel like uh, I got quite lucky with this one. Uh, the Elvish Vanguard, one in a green. Whenever an, another elf comes into play, put a 1 1 counter on Elvish Vanguard. How cool is that? It's pretty cheap to put out there. And this is obviously going to be put in an elf deck, so lots of elves are going to be popping out. Building this up by a uh, Glenn Angus. How beautiful is that? Our lives are woven together like the trees, branches over our heads, forming a canopy that protects us all. Beautiful art, lovely text as well. How cool is this? Definitely a lot of elves in here. I think this person really liked 
Elves Tribal. Uh, chosen card, Lanowar Sentinel from Weatherlight. Corian Elves again. Chosen again. Another Priest card. I'm just setting this aside because I know that they're common. That's quite good. Uh, Seeker of Skybreaker. I'm just going to be setting a cards I think are notable. Um, yes, just for myself. Uh, Yavimaya Enchantress again. Just a different art on it. Lanowar Sentinel, Yavimaya Enchantress. I believe that I have a couple of these. Just different art. I just, I'm just curious for myself. I feel like, yep, it's uh, just different art right there. <laughs> cool. It's a Druid. Lanoir Sentinel. Seeker of Skybreak Elvis Guide. This is from Mercadian Mass. I did open up a booster pack of that recently. Um, check that out if you want. Really fun set. I was hoping I'd get a foil, but beggars can't be choosers. Destroy a land. Winter's Grasp. How great is that? Green card. Destroy a land. Mere Folk Rogue. Wow. Kamigawa. How awesome is that? One of my favorite sets. Hunting Misery. Rain of Salt. Destroy two target lands. How cool is that? Another Dark Ritual. Great card, McKinney Mass. I'll just set this aside because I'm on honestly dark rituals are amazing. Corrupt, Urgas, Urza Saga, Voice of Grace, Flying Protection for Black, Angel got a place out of them. This is becoming to be a really nice little collection of cards. Really excited. Uh, Kismet Alt. This one's got a little bit of bend to it, you can see right there. Three in a white. All of target player creature lands and artifacts come to play tapped. Get leaf elvish. Uh, Bad Opal Champion. Got the Champion. Got a, quite a few of those. Got an Opal Gargoyle. So it looks like there's only four of each. I don't I haven't seen one. There's more than four, but I could be wrong. Mother of Runes. Target creature can go and protection from the color of your choice on the turn. A Glider. A Rebel. Scorn. Stormscape Familiar. Mirfolk Looter from Exodus. Rewind. Hoodwink. Return target prone to his owner's hand. Arcane Laboratory. Each player cannot play more than one spell each turn. How great is that? Stop like storm and stuff like that. Get an elephant, rogue elephant, Ryerwood pride, uh, prayer, disenchant. Got pestilence. How great is pestilence? Got Conjuba, which is never know how to pronounce her name from Chronicles. Wish was from Arabian Nights. Got corrupt. Got a cabal ritual again. I'll throw this to the side. Some more cards. An elf, uncommon, Ulfa snout. Flash leaves player remove target card from graveyard from the game. It's got evoke. You can play this spell for its evoke cost. If you do sacrifice it when it comes into play, interesting. Got elvish, got a tree, got terror, another fertile ground. Great carmen as well. Fine protection from black. These piles oh. looks like it had an alarm going on. Sorry about that. Just give me one second. <laughs> All right. Now we're on to another pile. These piles are getting quite a bit, pretty big. Uh, I got my rares, got just some notable ones, commons, uncommons, and cards that are older sets that don't have the rarity symbols on them. Got needle drop, uncommon, hostile realm, stomping scabs, duel. It's just a lot of a lot of cards going on. Now we're, it looks like some tenth edition. Pretty crazy. I'll just start making different piles. There's a lot of cards going on right here. Vampire Bats. Looks like this card had some leaven completely bent in half. I'll set this one to the side just because the poor thing is hurt. Uh, Cabal Ritual again. Encroach. Ravenous Rats. Oh, I love that card. It's such a great card. When it comes into play, target opponent chooses and discard a card from their hand. How beautiful is that? Encroach is uncommon. Ravenous Rats are common. Uh, Corcision. Duress. Aether Blast. Uh, organ Grinder, ooh, Brainstorm, that's, that's a decent card. Goblin Medics, that's a pretty sweet card as well. Fog Bank, another Prodigal Sorcerer. Wall of Tears from, um, it'd be awesome we got like a, a Sliver Queen. This is from Stronghold. Uh, Hunters, uh, Fog Bank again, Wall of Razors. Just flipping these cards up and down. Quicksilver Dagger, Hermetic Study underneath there. Common, these piles are... Going all over the place, another Prodigal Sorcerer. Got a Slayer of some sort. Another Organ Grinder, seeing a bunch of the same cards, some of them. Another Medic uh, Barrier, it's a wall. Look at that, it's like a wall of Reef. Got a Fire Whelp. I doubt I'm going to find cards like Planeswalkers in here. I feel like these are from older sets. Um, got a Terror. Mog Flinty's Mob Justice. 
Mog uh, Frantic Mantis Engine, 10th edition, Uncommon, Rod of Ruin, we got a Goblin, Fear, Creeping Mold, Sage Owl, Avian Flasher, Mirfolk Looter, Sea Monster, Cancel, you canceled, Beluge, Tinlings, Canopy Strider, Goblin Sky Rider, Raider, another Uncommon, so quite a big pile of Common and Uncommon. And some older cards right here for sure. I'm going to just go through this one. Really no rhyme or reason to the way I'm going through this. Wow, it looks like, what is this, uh, Homelands or Fallen Empires? Fisher, Holy Strength, Memory Lapse, Fireball. Nice. Uh, revised Edition. I'm excited to see Revised Edition in here. Wow, there's a lot of... I have no idea what I'm going to expect in here. This is a really exciting lot for me. I hope it is it's for you too. Got a St Gustav Savior. Four and a white flying. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may tap that creature and remove it from combat. It's a 3 4. So, whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, just say, you know what? Actually, take it out of combat by Jim Nielsen. Beautiful. A rare. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it's a uh, Titania Song. Three and a green. All non creature artifacts in play lose their usual abilities and become artifact creatures with toughness and power, uh, both equal to the casting cost. If it leaves play, artifacts return to normal just before. The untapped phase of next turn. It's an enchantment that turns artifacts into creatures. How cool is that? I revised a cove. Uh, I'll actually set a pile for lands as well. I didn't. I forgot about lands. It looks like there's some lands. Wow, a card from the dark. How cool is that? Wow, I'm getting all sorts of things that uh, I'm really excited. Overrun. Uh, water worm. Water worm gets plus zero plus one if opponent controls at least one island. Got a rare lotus guardian. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool for seven. That's a huge casting cost, though. Got a uh, Purging Scythe, 5 generic. During your upkeep, Purging Scythe deals 2 damage to uh, the creature with the lowest toughness. If two or more creatures are tied for the lowest toughness, you decide which uh, creature Purging Scythe deals damage to. So just 2 damage to the weakest creature. Two of those. Got a Dingus Egg, Urza's Blueprint, 6 generic, Echo, draw a card. Uh, you gotta pay its mana cost again at the beginning of your next upkeep, or you sacrifice it by Tom Wanderstone. All these rares, how cool is that? Some Ice Age, Illusionary Terrain, Community of Upkeep 2. All basic lands are one of one type, become the basic land of different type of your choice. That's cool. That's pretty fun. Uh, Thermo Trask, another one of these. Uh, rare right here. Armored Guardian 3, a white and a blue. Creature Guardian, 1 and 2 white, target creature control, gains protection from the color of your choice, and of turn. 1 and 2 blue. Armored Guardian can't be blocked, can't be target of spells or abilities this turn. It's 2 5 by Arnie Sweckle, some sort of cat creature. Beautiful art. Got a Tempest, got a Umbilius, four generic. During each player's upkeep, that player pays two life or returns a permanent he or she controls to owner's hand. Cool. So make them return a creature or something to their owner's hand unless they pay two life. Or each of you by a, uh, their month power. Got a Craw Giant, big old giant. Order of the White Shield. Got Incinerate. Whoa, this is, um, I did not expect this. This is from, what is, um, can't remember this set. Anthologies? I think so. Argovian Blacksmiths, Reverse Polarity. That's crazy. You got uh, Miracle Work of the Dark. These are some actually really old cards. Can't remember the name of this set right here, but I don't know if I have any of these. How cool is that? These are really old. Uh, tap to prevent up to two damage to target artifact. A little bit rough condition, but how cool is that? Phantasmal Train, Riftstone Portal. Got a Cold Snap. This is from, um, wow, a uh, what what set is alliances soul grail comes into play choose a color add one man of chosen color to your mana pool places it interrupts three to cost some legends from uh chronicles i got a curd ape some revised curd apes some revised lanawar oh nope this is a uh, fourth edition i believe lanawar else pestilence some kamigawa stuff some uncommon hinder shinobi Man, there's a little bit of everything here. I'm absolutely shocked how much stuff there is. And then I barely touched the surface of it so far. There's quite a big amount of piles over there. There's going to be a longer video. Just bear with me. Hopefully you're enjoying this kind of thing. I definitely do. I definitely do. Got a white knight. Got a random island. I'll put this here. Calling the weak shepherd of the rot. A craw worm. Craw worm. Interesting. Treetop village. Got that land pile. Spirit link. Uh, just... Ooh, looks like some rare greener pastures, two in a green during each player's upkeep. If that player controls more lands than the other, uh, that player puts a sprawling token 
uh, sapling token into play under his or her control. Treat that token as a 1-1 one -one green creature. Cool. A rare by Heather Hudson. Looks like he's growing pumpkins or something like that. Unhinge. Elvish Branch Cheller. Uh, 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 Simeon Grunts again. I got a couple of those, so I believe there is more than four of those. Huntmaster. Just kind of going through these. These are so much fun for me. This is so much fun for me. Hope you guys are doing wonderful today as well. Hope the weather's doing great. And yeah, hope if you buy any lots, you get the best luck as well. Got Wall of Tears. Lightning Bolt. Uh, a very heavily played love Lightning Bolt. Put that there. Another Brainstorm. Uh, fog Bank. Set these here. These piles are getting a bit big. Bit big, a bit big. Just bear with me. I'm trying to rearrange everything. Shard Volley, Uncommon, Gift, Duress, Twisted Experiment, Wall of the Walker of the Grove. Hopefully everything's showing up on camera pretty well. Pulling Teeth, crazy ugly card. A bunch of these from these older sets that I never really played. I took a break from Magic the Gathering in these sets. I think it's like Morning Tood, and I can't remember the other name. I did open up a pack, I believe, Morning Tood. Some fairies going on here. I remember this card, Squeaking Pie Grubvelis. How bizarre is that? I'm pretty sure I pulled it out from a pack. Got a Carnophage again. Tactician. A Sentinel. Look at this guy. Big old blue guy with his sword. Looks like it's melting. Nice to glint off his shoulder. A Changeling. Changelings are fun. Put these like in a sliver deck. They're all creatures at the same time. Except walls. They can attack. Mere Folk. I'm going to have to set this pile of commons aside and start a new one it's a little bit big so i will set this pile of commons whoa <laughs> explosion i literally just made a huge mess and i will help pick this up in one second and i'm back from just knocking over all those cards what a mess what a big mess but if it's a mess that's the one i want to have a big mess of cards got an uncommon right here started a new pile of commons a will. Blight Soil Druid. Start a new pile of commons. Uncommons. Got a little pile of lands going on here. Just some interesting cards. A pile of rares up there. Stomping Stabs. Some uncommons. Hurly Burly. Crush crush Underfoot. Reigns of the Vines, Vine Steed. A giant mutton, Mud Button Torch Runner. What fun names is this? Lurk Errant. Loam Dweller, Fires of Yavamaya, pretty sure this is a decent card as well, gives your creatures haste, sacrifice it, creature uh, gets plus two, plus two until end of turn, how cool is that, a zombie, love zombies, obsessive search with the madness, this is when the madness ability came out, and torment, mental noise, I don't think that was it, I think that's it, Got think twice, aether burst, odyssey, one of my favorite sets, I did open up a pack of this on that channel, on this channel, check it out if you'd like. Got a Black Vice it's from the old 4th edition. At the end of target opponent's upkeep, Black Vice deals that player 1 damage for each card in his or her hand in excess of 4. More cards in your hand, the more damage you get. Goblin Caves, absolutely great card. Got Festival. Look at the art on here, just crazy. One white opponent may not declare an attack this turn. Play only play during opponent's upkeep phase. So it's like a fog. 1994 by Mark Poole, and it makes you your creatures have a festival. No fighting, just festival. And Goblin uh, Caves is a great card. Put this on a mountain, your goblins get plus two defense or uh, toughness. How cool is that? Got the festival right there. Quite a good amount of cards. I'm actually very excited about this. Got the prayers. Genji of the Fall, some more Kamigawa stuff. Some of my favorite set. Love the Samurais. Got ninjas. Some ninjas going on right here. Look at these interesting kind of cards right here. An uncommon sort of like flip card. Uh, when students of elements has flying, flip it. So if you chant it and it gives it flying, creatures you control have flying. It becomes a 3-3 if you give it flying. How cool is that? An uncommon shuriken. Uh, Ronin, Ronin War Club. Just a big old metal bat. How cool. It's going to be a longer video, so just bear with me, everybody. I really hope you enjoy this stuff. I definitely do. Just seeing all these cards, all this cool art. Looks at that, like crazy angel heart coming out. Got wings on our heart. Beautiful. Comes into play, gain through life. Enchant creature is flying. Pay white. Put hope on top of his owner's library. 
Got a uh, violent Paul. It's a fairy. Beautiful. Thank you. Cool. Festering Goblin. Great card. Mind Peel from Stronghold. Tendrils of Despair. Got a Mind Rot 7th Edition. Fertile Ground. Phantom Wings. Another one of those cards. A flip card. Uh, falls. How lovely is this? Opal. Uh, Carry Side. Holy Day. Got Kanji of the Vanishing Touch. Field of Reality. Wear Away Horizon. Another one of these flip cards. Some interesting flip cards again. These are both uncommon. Cool. Got Faithless Fire and uh, uh, Baroku Pupil. Wirewood. A Nomadic Elf. Gia's Blessing. A Dithu Slayer. Diabolic Servitude. Fun card as well. That's an uncommon. Trying to get these piles correctly. What is this over here? Mana Leech. I'll just grab from this pile here. Because I don't know what's what. Just kind of going through it with you all. Cool. Got some uncommons going on. Weatherlight, Bog, Squee, Pie, Grub Fellows again. Picky Bogart. Got Thornwood Fairies. I have no idea if any of these cards like got lost in the mail too. Because the box did have a, quite a big hole in it. But I'll never know. And honestly, that's alright. It's like uh, Heart of Bogadard. Cumulative Upkeep 2. Uh, if it's not paid, deals damage equal to last paid Cumulative Upkeep to target player for each creature he or she controls. That's a lot of damage to you. A lot of damage to you. Uh, fast Creep. A Buffon. Goblin Medics. A Fedo Alchemist. Got a Picky Bogard again. Flowstone Wall from Nemesis. I think that's the first from that set i seen. Uh, Demon's Horn. Whenever you play a black spell, you gain a life. Put that in a black deck. Rampant Growth. Mercadian Masks going on right here. Enchantment. Uh, tap an untapped creature you control. Deals one damage to target player. It's enchantment. How cool is that? Scathe Zombies. Classic. Scathe Zombies. Different art, though. Another Mog. Uh, Frantic. Puppeteer. Another Opal Champion. The Foul. A couple of those. Just flipping these cards all around. Reign of Tears. Mana Leech, another Dark Ritual. Got little pieces of cardboard. Sigil of Sleep, Wall of Tears, Hermetic Study, Ron Spencer, Thrall Surgeon, Avalanche Riders. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty decent card as well. Uh, but I think that's all right. Stone Rain, Rain of Tears, Thrall Surgeon, a Dingus Staff. I remember this. Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from, many, from play, Dingus Staff does two damage to that creature's controller. Boom. Common. This is from, uh, what is this? Portal? Second Age? Destroy any one land. One of the portal sets. How cool is that? A lot of Winter's Grasps going on here. I'm pretty sure Avalanche Riders is decent. Another Brainstorm. Uncommon here. Night Sage Stinger. I don't know much about these cards, but the art of them is cool. Look at this kind of goblin guy going on. By Pete Ventures. He looks like real sad. Put his feet in the stream. Face Vaulter. <laughs> Sacrifice a Golem. Gets plus two, plus two until the turn. A Fairy. Shepherd of the Rot. Love this card. Tap. Each player loses one life for each zombie in play. So if you got if you got 19 life uh, and your opponent has 17 and you got 17 zombies out, go ahead tap it. You win the game. No rest for the wicked. It's an uncommon. Get through Slinger. Nightscape. Uh, Battle Mage. Tremble. Get some Tremble. Whale. Spectre's Whale, Ravenous Rats, beautiful blackmail. This is a great card as well. One black. Target player reveals three cards from his or her hand. You choose one of them. That player discards a card. So if they only have three cards in the hand, just show them your whole hand. This is a great card. Pyrexian Ranger. Uh, Pyroclasm. Bloodstone. Uh, camo. Cameo. Three. Add black or red your mana pool. Great for like dragons. Rain of Salt. Uh, unchecked Growth. Pyrexian Vault. Another Ravenous Rats. Some Drides, Classic Grizzly Bears from 10th edition, X is 10th edition. Whoa, Goblin Lore, that's a great card. I didn't expect that. This is a great card. Um, One in a red, draw four cards and discard three cards at random. Boom. That's a lot of card draw for two. Great card as well. 
So that card might honestly have paid for the whole lot. <laughs> I don't remember how much it costs anymore, but it might be around like $20. I could be wrong. Got Whisking, Fleece Crawler, Warden, Whelm, <laughs> goopy looking guy. Look at the art on this, it's crazy. Nemesis, uh, Viceling, Deepwood, uh, Taint, Taintive, Caustic Wasps. When Caustic Wasps deals damage to a player, you may destroy target artifact that player controls. Cool. Got some sort of charm from Mirage, Urborg, Shambler, some Soldier of Fortune, uh, Red and Tap, target player shuffles his or her library. One red. How cool is that? Fun card from Alliances. Another Grub Fellows, Weed Prune Polar, Popular, Hornet Hassler, Victor Pell, Hornet Hassler. There's a lot from this set. He must have really played, or she must have really played when that set came out. Got Rays, Rancor, Ray Card as well. Got two of those. Uh, Chetagreed gets plus two, plus zero, and Trample. When it's put in your graveyard, return it to your hand. So it pretty much can't die unless someone exiles Rancor. Got two of those. Got us. Uh, Snitch, yay! Snow covered, uh, <laughs> snow covered mountain. Fun from Ice Age. Got repopulate. Ha! <laughs> a cloak, armadillo cloak, pyrexian broodling, gears blessing. A mountain with a little bit of a bend to it. You can see the bend right here. I just set into the pile of bendy cards. Beautiful art right here. As long as it's untapped, all green creatures get plus one plus one. How cool is that? Two and a. Uh, White from Alliances, beautiful cards. Spectre Bears. What is this from Homelands, I believe? No, this is from like Anthologies. This is a Homelands reprint with a white border. Crazy. Turf Rune, Stone Rain, Dwarven, Landslide. A wow, Visions card. It's the first time I've seen a Visions card. Sulfatara. Sulfa Target player cannot play any land cards this turn. Uh, draw a card at the beginning of the next turn. Upkeep. Cool, put a hold on their land. Be foul. Got a Swamp. Beautiful Swamp. Foul mana leech, another dark ritual. Throw that there. Raise, lay waste. Mana leech, another dark ritual. Stone rain, raise. Anytime you play raise, sacrifice a land, destroy target land. Another vision, sulfur, stone rain, dwarven landslide, lay waste, dwarven landslide. So I saw like two vision cards. Wasn't expecting that. And so far, I have two kind of bent cards. Some of them cards are definitely very loved. Got Dwarven Berserker, got Terror, great card, Berry Target, non-black, non-artifact creature. What is this? Severed Legion. Got a Marsh uh, Flitter. Another Terror. These cards are just all sorts of which ways. They were just kind of thrown around all these boxes. Ooh, I got a Deranged Human Hermit. I actually love this card. I want to make a Squirrel deck as well. This one's pretty well... Uh, Pretty good as well, to be honest. Three and two green. Summon Elf Echo. Got to pay this uh, mana cost at the beginning of your next uh, turn or sacrifice it. When it comes into play, put four squirrel tokens into play. Treat these as a 1-1 one, one green creatures. All squirrels get plus one, plus one. By Kev Walker, it's a 1-1. One, one. Great for squirrel tribal, which is I want. Just this crazy guy with a bunch of squirrels on his body. How cool is that? This is a pretty expensive card as well. And I believe it is on the reserve list. I do have one copy of those in my collection. Now, I have another. How cool is that? All these cards right here, just trying to flip them around the correct way. Uh, Holy Day, beautiful art, flying first strike, a charger, mother of runes, trickery charm, lash out, a soulless one, that's a great zombie. Soulless one is uh, power and toughness equal to the number of zombies in play plus the number of zombie cards in all graveyards. You got 10 zombies out and 10 zombies in your graveyard. It's 2020. Wall of Essent. A little bit of a bend right here. You can see in the corner. Put that in the broken pile. Crazy looking art. Look at that face. Kind of like a squished face going on right there. Uh, a Slayer. A Horror. Innocent Blood. Great card. Each player sacrifices a creature for one black. Kills an indestructible creature because it's a sacrifice. Roar of the Crowd, a Bandit, a Goblin Rogue, a Net, Ring Keeper, Shapeshifter. Really excited to see a bunch of these older cards in here. I did not expect it. I had no idea what I was expecting. Other than seeing some of those, I had no idea what to be expecting. 
And I still have these. I'm excited about that. Flame Burst. So many. Got a Needle Drop. Some Urzas. Got a Infernal Tribute. Sacrifice a card and play. Draw a card. How cool is that? Barrow Ghoul. Thaliad. Curan Elves. Symbiosis. Wild Dogs. Beautiful art. Kindle. Flame Jet. Flame Burst by Ron Spencer. Beautiful art. Reed Prune Puppeteer again. Uncommon Boggart Bruth Wright. Violent Pale. Uh, this sets are very tribal. Um, these sets right here, I think, Morning Tooth. Crypt Cobra. Great, great card. Ron Spencer. Poison Counters. From Mirage. Ooh, my piles are falling over. Kindle Fury. Um... Mog Frantic again. We've got a Firebolt. We've got a Parch Raging Goblin. It's got Haste. It's a one one red for a creature with Haste. A shock, great card. Puppeteer. There was one Lightning Bolt that I found earlier. Pulling Teeth. Rip Skipper. Opal. Sinister Strength. Uh, Mob Justice. Ghostly Wings. All right, this pile of comments is going to the side again. It's getting quite full. There we go. Rancid Earth. Opal, Painful Memories, uh, Psonic Gift, Hermetic Study, Fire Whelp, Wall of Razors, Fertile Ground, great card, Throw it on a land, Cloud of Fairies. I remember this being a common uh, that was pretty well because you play it, you untap two lands, and it costs two to cost, so you can untap. If you had like a land with a fertile growth on it, you can untap more mana than it costs to pay to play. How cool is that? Great card. I don't know if it's legal. I think it got banned in like Popper, which was what it was used for mostly. Put that to the side. Manic Study, Skittering Scourge, Flowstone Wall, Hidden Horrors, a Crab. Flip these around, I guess. Doop. Shifting Sky, Culling of the Week. Got a couple of those again. Uh, Marok, a Commerce. An Oaf, Glit Leaf Seer, Fire Judge, Stream of Unconsciousness, Pulling Teeth, Forfiend. How great is this? Got a Moon Glove Extra, Sacrifice Moon Glove Extra, do two damage to target creature player. Nameless uh, Inversion. I like the card Nameless Race. It's a good card. It looks like, uh, a, uh, what is it? it? Looks like Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. Check that out if you don't know what I'm talking about. The card called Nameless Race. Thornbrine Staff. Uh, Hurley Burly. Fun card name. Hurley Burly does one damage to each creature without flying, or Hurley Burly does one damage to each creature with flying. Hurley Burly. Fun card. The name of it. Kithkin Healer. Hillcomb Giant. And what is this? Uh, Gold Meadow Dodger. So many lovely cards in this set. In this collection. Very happy with it. Incinerate. Seal of Fire Parch. Some more Parch. Some Shock from Stronghold. Frenzy thing. Another Shock Flame Jet, a couple Flame Jets, another Shock from 7th Edition, Shock from Stronghold, Spectre's Whale, Bog Witch, uh, Black, tap, discard a card from your hand, and 3D Mana Pool, how fun is that? Stone Rain from uh, Portal, Lay Waste, Aftershock, Wash Out, Lab Rats, make some Rat Tokens with the buyback cost of 4, Uncommon, Whisper of Wild, these are facing all sorts of Whisper, Stream of Unconsciousness, Negate, Classic uh, counter spell. It's a fairy soldier. Dodger. Fairy trickery. Fairy. All these fairy. All these wizards. A lot of tribal cards in this set, I would say. Another one of that. Holy Day. Storage Matrix. Uh, rare from Urza's uh, Destiny, I believe. Or Yeah, three generic. Artifact. As long as Storage Matrix is untapped, instead of each player untapping permits he or she controls during... His or her untap step, that player chooses artifact, creatures, or lands, and untaps all permanents of chosen type he or she controls. So you'll only untap one type. How cool is that? Great card. I got a, an Endal Path of Peace Zealot. Alrighty. Going at it. Quite a nice little pile of rares, too. I didn't expect to find any rares hidden in here. I thought they'd all be in the little booklets in the corner. So very, very shocked. Mother of Runes again. Uh, Sanophage. The Raiders. Erg Raiders. Another Dark Ritual. What is this? Fifth edition. Carnophage. 
some more commons, fertile. We are facing every sort which way. Ghostly changeling, gorilla shaman from alliances. Beautiful. This one's pretty heavily played. It's prodigal sorcerer, of course it is. Great card. Got another brainstorm. What is this? Fifth edition. Counter spell. Cool art. Just counter target spell for two mana. It's a common. How wonderful is that? Uh, Don Fluke. Hornet Hassler. Some more visions cards coming on here. Death Watch. Got a terror. Got a Necta Sanctuary. Got a Misery Charm. Did this centaur going on there. Facing every sort which way. Lowland Olaf, uncommon. <laughs> Every sorts which way these are facing. Yavamaya Kuva, Unhinge, Flinthorn Elves from Ice Age. A nice little collection of cards here, to be honest. Very excited to see all sorts of sets from all over the Expanse of Magic. Even saw some from, I think, like Anthologies or The Dark. Or, I can't remember the name of that set. Uh, Islands, got two islands, revised, and then a fourth edition. How cool is that? Index. Frantic Search, Counterspell again from Tempest, Innocent Blood. These are just flipping all over the place, all sorts of ways. Another Dark Ritual, quite a few Dark Rituals. Got a, probably a couple play sets of those. Diabolic Tutor, good card. Uh, Steyr. Rain, Root Grappa, Kimigawa, Reigns of Vinesteed. Quite a few cards. Definitely some repeats here. They must have opened up a lot of packs, this person, for sure. Just a lot going on here. Some of the older cards, definitely. You can tell which ones are the older, even from the back. Rage. Avocate. Fairy. Squeaking Pie Grub Fellows, again. Quite a few of those. Uncommon. Uh, symbiotic Elf. Urborg Elf. Ancestral Masks. How cool is this? Nut. Elvish Brand Belt. So many cards. So many cards to go through. I got through about, I would say, a little bit more than half of uh, the piles of singles over there. For sure. Painful Memories again. Got a couple of those. Got three of those. Another, Some more Fertile Grounds. They're just... All over the place. At first, I thought they were going to be together, but uh, not. It looks like, wow, it looks like these are crazy. No way. I got three more deranged hermits, and one looks like it's to be signed by Kev Walker. I got a place at a deranged hermits in here. That's unreal. That's like, this is like an amazing collection. How crazy is that? You don't see this stuff every day. A play set of deranged hermits, and one of them is signed. Looks like this person definitely had a thing for squirrels. How cool is that? That's that's awesome. I don't know how to authenticate a signature, but I'm pretty sure that's it. How cool is that? That's awesome. At the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a recap as well to showing you kind of everything I got I Think I think is worth mentioning. That's crazy. That itself, that's like way more than I'm pretty sure this lot cost me. Um, yeah, what a great lot. I'm excited, I'm excited. Looks like I got a rare from Kamigawa. Tomorrow, uh, Amazi's familiar, five and a blue. If you would draw a card, look at the top three cards of your library. Instead, put one of those cards in your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. So one five, how cool is that? You pretty much get a sky three draw card. A legendary creature spirit. Looks like some weird chimera creature going on there. How cool is that? A play set of deranged hermits? I wanted those. And is one of them is signed. How bizarre is that? Pestilence, I'm, this lot is turning out to be something very special. How would that not in the pamphlets over there, just thrown in here? Bizarre. I don't think this uh, person I bought it from really knew what what they had. A rare, some more rares going on here. Uh, extravagant Spirit, three and a blue. From Arcadian Mask, flying. The beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Extravagant Spirits, unless you pay one for each card in your hand. It's a 4-4. Four, four. That's a lot you have to pay for it. That doesn't make sense to me. Got a Planeswalker's Mischief. Wow, Planeswalkers. Two and a white. Enchantment, three and a blue. Target player. Target opponent reels a card at random from his or her hand. If it's an instant or sorcery card, remove it from the game. As long as it remains removed from the game, you may play it though as were when your hand without paying its mana cost. If X in the mana cost is uh, 
If it has X in the mana cost, X is zero at the end of turn. Event played it, return it to its owner's hand, play this ability only anytime you can play a sorcery. Card reminds me of the card Chaos Wand. Cool. A rare from uh, Planet Shift, I believe. Lanamar Elves. I can't believe I just got a playset of uh, Deranged Hermit and it was signed. That's unbelievable. Overrun. Frantic Search. Uh, Veal of Birds. Thornscape Familiar. Got Thrawn Golem. Five Generic. Rare. Uh, as long as Thrawn Golem is enchanted, gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying. First Strike and Trample. It's a 3-3. Three, three. How cool is that? Enchant it and make it powerful. Quite a nice amount of rares. Findhorned Elves from Ice Age. Got a play set of those. Order of the White Shield. Got Disenchant. Another Kismet. Order of a... Uh, Lipper. Not sure what this is. Got Ring of Grix. Got three of them. Some rare. Echo. One tap. Tap. Target. Artifact. Creature. Or land. It's got the Echo though. Icy Manipulator is better. Beautiful art by Mark Tennant. Got three of those. How cool is that? Drain Life. Uh, Parasitic Bond. Pyroxene Ghoul. Got a couple of those. Quite a few. Got a Dathu Warlord. Twisted Experiment. Maggot Carriers. Nightscape Familiar. Zombie Trailblazer. I'm pretty sure this is a decent card. Uh, tap and untap zombie control. Target land becomes a swamp until end of turn. Tap and untap zombie control. Target creature gains swamp walk until end of turn. Uh, that's pretty decent. Got a frantic search. Another brainstorm. This is just, this lot is all over the place. How cool is that? Trickery charm. Uh, accolade. Uh, golden feather. Flame burst. How cool is that? Let me just got two more rubber band piles. I'm going to take this other pile of commons here, set it to the side. Just take off all the rubber bands so all the singles are unrubber banded. And I'm just grabbing them. All right, let's see. Bogart, Fire Fiend, Obsidian Battle Axe. Cool. Earth Bridge, Langify. Uh, Cloak of Mists, Tiger Claws. I'm just having fun with this right now. Thornscape Familiar. I'm going through it quicker than I usually would because if I went through it at the speed and read every card, I'd be here till tomorrow. <laughs> Horizon Seed, Plague Spores. This is an uncommon. Got a Land Grant. Got a Wild Growth. Ghostly Wings. Got a Compulsion. Got a Yavamaya Encantress. Got a Craw Giant. With the Rampage going on right there. Uh, the Chosen Gorilla Warriors. Got a Bolduvian Bears from Ice Age. Some Grizzly Bears going on. A Starter Edition right there. How cool is that? First time I've seen Starter Edition in this set. In this uh, lot. Parasitic Bond. Explosive Growth. Another Craw Worm. Some Craw Worm. Some big old cards. Some 6-4 for 4 and 2 green. Got Clash of Rhinos. Got a Feral Instinct. Two of those. Got a Master Decoy. These cards flipping up and down. A Seal of Fate. Feral Instinct again. A Beetle. That has been Ogre. Got two of those. Mental Discipline. Cloak of Mists. So much fun. These are some really nice older cards as well. Blade of Veil's Veil. Lash Out. Fertile Ground. Quite a bit of Fertile Grounds is one. As well, Unstable Mutation. Vision Charms. Got a couple of those. Horseshoe Crab, was that mental note? Horseshoe Crab, Cloud of Fairies again, another one of those. Fun card, it's pretty much a free card. Fire Belly Changeling, Iron Staff Bogart, Severed Legion, Order of Yagamoth, Wall of Shadows, some Chronicles, Parasitic Bond, Leaf Glider, Benelish Trapper. Almost through all the singles, Spirit Link, White Knight, Yavamaya, Fires of Yavamaya, Yavamaya, good card as well. Uh, Ancestral Masks, uh, Circular Logic, Obsessive Search, Simeon Grunts, uh, Cradle Guard, Got Curion Elves again, Fires of Yavamaya, Compulsion, Mental Discipline, Got quite a few of those. Got Mist Master Decoy, some Fairies. About a goat napper tar pitch. 
Lurk Errant, Mud Button Charger. The names on these sets are fun. Mud Button Torch Runner, Goat Napper, Napping some goats. X uh, X Grinder Giant, Dark Ritual again. Another Dark Ritual. I'm getting a lot of Dark Rituals. A Shamans, some Herloon Shamans going on. Some Goblins, some uh, Tendrils of Despair, some Mind Rots. Great card as well. Almost getting through all the singles. Got Angel's Trumpet, Lightning Elemental, uh, uh, Solterian Trooper, but Kev Walker, Arcane Laboratory, uh, Liberate, Ninjas of Deep Hours, uh, Kenjin of Vanishing Touch, some more Kamigawa stuff going on, uh, Tide Shape Mystic, Stony Brook Banneret, Stony Brook Banneret, beautiful. Kite Sail, uh, Pulley Lullaby, Nightshade, Dragon's Claw, play Red Spell, gain a life, Destroy Enchantment, Demystify, some 10th edition again going on, Spirit Weaver, Ghost Warden, Heart, Luminescence, Spirit Link, Mind Rot, great card, Skeletal Changeling, Face Vault, Buffoon, <laughs> a Dawn Fluke, a Giant, Stonybrook Schoolmaster, Pluve Knights, Uncommon, uh, Four Fiend, Uncommon again, and I'm on to like the last little stack of cards over here. Uh, do I have two? Wow, there's actually, well, there's a lot of rares here. That's crazy. Alrighty. One second, my battery's actually going to die, and I will charge it, and I'll be right back, okay? We left off right on all of these. How cool is that? Just set it down right here. All right, and I'm back. And I just popped in my new battery, so hopefully I won't have to change it again for the rest of the video. But anyways, this is where I left it off. A nice little pile of rares that I saw again. The first one I have, actually I have two of them, is Sabertooth uh, Nishoba. For a green and a white, it's a creature beast. It has trample, protection from blue, protection from red, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, you can't be bounced back to, your head by a back to your hand by a blue spell, and a lightning bolt can't hurt it. Sweet, got two of those. I got a Oblitation, two under white, instant. Uh, the owner of target non-land permanent shuffles it into his or her library, then draws two cards. Interesting, it's, n it's not exactly exiling it, it's kind of burying it inside of their library. Cool. I gotta read the runes, X and a blue, instant, draw X cards. For each card drawn this way, discard a card from your hand unless you sacrifice a permanent. Interesting. So you gotta draw cards, and if you don't sacrifice a permanent, you have to discard that main cards. Bizarre. I got a Mind Bend, 10th edition rare, blue. It's change the text of target permanent by replacing all incidents, instance of one color word with another, or one basic land type with another. For example, you may change a non-black creature to non-green creature, or forest walk to island walk. The effect doesn't uh, end at the end of turn. Interesting. I got a White Stone, two of them. Three generic uh, artifact from Urza Saga. Three. Each player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. The Wheatstone. Interesting. I got a Junk Diver. Three generic. Flying when Junk Diver is put into a graveyard from play. Return another target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. And I got five of those. Would you look at that? Five of those. Cool. So when it dies, you put uh, another artifact uh, from your graveyard to your hand. Interesting. And that's an artifact itself, so you can bring it back. I got a scrying glass, too generic. Looks like he's scrying at a crazy look in his eyes, looking in there for wealth or something. Three and tap. Choose a number uh, greater than zero and a color. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. If that opponent reveals exactly the chosen number of cards for, uh, of the chosen colors, you draw a card. Very interesting. Interesting. So you get a look at their hand. You choose a number and you choose a color, say... Uh, two and black. And if they have two black cards in their hand, you, you draw a card. Very weird. <laughs> Looks like I got Nemesis. Oracle's Attendance, three and a white. Tap all damage that would be dealt to target creature this turn by source of a of your choice is dealt to uh, the Attendance instead. It's a 1-5. It's a rare. You got a Field of Souls. This is a uh, Tempest card. Cool. Whenever a non-token creature is put into a graveyard from play, Put an essence token into play. Treat it as a 1-1 creature, uh, white creature flying. Cool, so whenever a creature dies, you make a little token. 
You got a Possessed Nomad 2 and 2 white. All these rares, how awesome. Attacking doesn't cause it to tap, so it has Vigilance and it's Threshold. It gets plus 1, plus 1, and is black, and has 2 and black tap. Destroy target white creatures, a 3-3, three, three, and if it has Threshold, it becomes a black creature as well. Crazy, look at that. You can see his reflection is kind of evil down there. You can see the white and the black. Lovely. I got a uh, Thrawn Golem. I think I had a couple of these before. As long as Golem's enchanted, gets plus two, plus two, gains flying first strike and trample to five. So three, three. How cool is that? I got myself an Order of uh, Liebert. Got myself a uh, Sacred Ground. Cool. Another rare uh, Soul Sculptor. Two and a white. Summon Townsfolk. One and white tap. Target creature becomes an enchantment and loses all abilities until a player successfully casts a creature spell. It's a 1-1. One, one. Does the stone mimic like, or did it once live? Crazy. Hmm. So, it turn a creature into an enchantment unless they cast a creature spell. Got Psychic Venom again. Got Ring of Grix. Had this again. Uh, Chimeric Staff. Looks like I got three of those. So this one has a little bit of a bend to it. For generic artifact. It has X. Chimeric Staff is an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to X until end of turn. So if you pay 1, it becomes a 1-1. One, one. If you pay 10, it becomes a 10-10. Ten, ten. How cool is that? You can just pump it up and smack your opponent with it. Got Phantasmal Terrain. Got Repulse. Another rare. Uh, Atticula Semiot Master. 3 and 2 white creature legend uh, clerk. X tap. Choose one. Prevent the next X damage that will be dealt to target creature this turn, or you gain X life. Spend the only way mana this way. It's a 2-3. Prevent damage to a creature or gain life. Looks like I got another one. Clo Arm Bruiser. Five in a white. Creature Rebel. When it attacks, you may tap up to two target creatures. It's a 3-4 by Pete. Oh, uh, no. Paulo Parente. Just a beast of a guy with a big old club. He's scared against the wall. So when he attacks, tap two creatures. You can even tap your own if you want. Psychic Venom. Twiddle. Some more Psychic Venom. Got a Counterspell. Got another Twiddle. Got another rare from Kamigawa. Uh, I don't remember what one. Saviors or uh, Oyabudu, Oyubi, who split the heavens. Six and a white legendary creature spirit flying. Whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, put a 3-3 three, three white spirit creature token flying into play. It's a 3-6. Three, 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 and if you put this in a spirit deck or something like that, man, you're going to be having a whole bunch of 3-3 three, three white flying spirits on the battlefield. That's a pretty sweet card. Pretty expensive to put on the field, though. But, man, you'd really pump out a lot of spirits. Got some more stuff over here. Even even more. Looks like I finally saw a foil. Got a, a Tetrid Griffin. One white. Creature Griffin flying. When you control no enchantments, sacrifice the Griffin. So 2-3. And if you got no enchantments, it dies. Got a Pursuit of Knowledge. Got a couple of those. Got Master Healer. Uh, it's four and a white. Got two of them. Tap. Prevent the next four damage to target creature or player this turn. So 1-4. Prevent some damage to creature or player. That's a lot of damage you can prevent. Got a Mystic Crusader. Cool. I got a, a, a foil as well. Foil is beautiful. Mystic Crusader, one and two white protection from black and from red. So murder can't kill it and shot can't kill it. Threshold gets plus one, plus one has flying. So if you got seven or more cards in your graveyard, it becomes a three, two with flying and protection from black and red. That's pretty sweet. Looks like I got uh, Tahori's Faithful, three and a white. Comes into play, gain four life. So there is a foil that isn't in the booklet right here. Cool. Start a separate pile for foils up top. Got another rare right here. An impromptu raid. Three and a red or a green. Two and red or green. Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, uh, put it into your graveyard. Otherwise, put that card into play. That uh, If it isn't a creature card, put that into your graveyard. Otherwise, put the card in play. Uh, that creature has hey sacrifice at the end of turn. Cool. So you can swing with a creature. Got a monk. Got a counter spell. Alabaster wall. Ooh, a venom. Uh, Nomad and Core got a Venom from the Dark. Got a Stamina. Give it Vigilance and Sacrifice to regenerate the creature. Hungry Hunting Moa. Centaur Glade. Neutralize. Some more coming out. Kami of the Hunt. Lantern Kimi. And Kami of the Hunt. Then the last little stack of cards that aren't in over here, that aren't over there. We'll check it out. Got myself a Pestilence. Pestilence, even more. Got a Thalid, a Knight, Order of the Golden Cricket, got a 
bunch of those. A balloonist, a bunch of balloonists going on right here. These ones seem to be in some sort of order. The forge. Got myself a drain life. Uh, Duskwick falcon. Putrid imp. Got threshold. Gets plus one, plus one. It has threshold. How cool is that? Looks like another rare. Got a uh, reverent mantra. Three and a white. You may remove a white card in your hand in game. Instead of paying a mana cost, all creatures gain protection from color of your choice until end of turn. So you can either pay it for a three and a white or remove a white card from your hand from the game and give your creatures protection from it. Got Transcendence. This is a fun card, I think. Uh, you don't lose the game for having zero or less life. That's different. Uh, when you have 20 or more life, you lose the game. Whenever you lose life, gain two uh, life for each one life you lost. How bizarre is that? You actually lose the game once you have 20 or more life. Pretty bizarre, pretty bizarre. So every one life you lose, you gain two. So very weird, very weird. Got a False Prophet, another rare two and two white. When False Prophet is put into a graveyard from play, remove all creatures from the game. So two, two, that's pretty sweet. You exile all creatures from the game. Just remove them from the grain once it's uh, once it's destroyed. How cool is that? That's a wonderful card. Got a Sunscape Master, another rare from Invasions. Two and two white creatures you control get Plus two, plus two until end of turn if you pay two green and tap. Two blue and tap, return target creature to his owner's hand. So two, two. Obviously, you want to put this in a green and a blue deck and white as well. You can see green, blue, and then the wizard in the background. Got a harsh judgment. Looks like I did get another one of those. Another uh, sunscape master. Got harsh judgment. Two and two white. As harsh judgment comes into play, choose a color. If an instant or sorcery of chosen color would deal damage to you, it deals uh, damage to its controller instead. Cool, so it comes into play, say, black. And if they have a bunch of black creatures swinging at you, it deals damage to their controller instead. That's pretty sweet. I got a, a cornered market, two and a white. Players can't play spells or non-basic lands with the same name as a card in play. How cool is that? If there's like a a deck with like a bunch of like rats or something like that and they'll have the same name, stop them from playing it. Just stop the market. Cool. Got myself a Degavowler, one and a white. It's a, a Voiler Kicker for uh, one in black and or red. If you pay the Kicker for one in a black, Kicker cost comes into play with a two 1-1 one, one counters on it. And it has pay three life regenerate. If you paid the Kicker for red, comes into play with a 1-1 one, one counter and has first strike. So it can either be come into uh, a creature that's a 3-3 three, three with pay three life regenerate or a 2-2 two, two with first strike. Bizarre. Got myself an Angel of Retribution, another rare six and a uh, white flying in first strike. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Bitter Vengeance never glowed so bright nor sang so sweet. Got a Harsh Judgment again. Got an Avian Shrine. Quite a few bit of rares in this last little pile right here. Uh, whenever a player plays a spell, that player gains X life, where X is the number of cards in all graveyards with the same name as that spell. Hmm. So if you got a bunch of the same spells in your graveyard, gain some life. Got the Avatar of Hope. These are fun because uh, they cost like six less to play. Uh, if you have three life or less, it costs six less to play. So you can put it on the battlefield for two. And it's a four, nine. May block any number of creatures. How cool is that? Give you some hope. Got a divine sacrament, one and two white. When white creatures get plus one, plus one. And it has threshold. If you have seven more cards in your graveyard, white creatures get an additional one, plus one, plus one. So give all your white creatures plus two, plus two if you have threshold. That's cool. Well, all white creatures. They whispered prayers. Uh, Rally the Nomads better than any war cry could. Got two of those. Got Divine Presence. Two and a white. So many rares right here. Enchantment. If a source will deal four damage or more to a creature or player, that source deals three damage to a creature or player instead. Interesting. So just redirect the damage. Got a Crusading Knight. Two and two white. Protection from black. Crusading Knight gets plus one, plus one for each swamp and opponent controls. So if, the guy, if you're playing against a black deck, maybe sideboard this in your white deck, he gets pretty strong for each swamp. My only dream is to destroy the nightmares of the other. I got a Morning Tide. Remove all cards in all graveyards from the game. One and a white. Just exile all cards from graveyards. Cool. It's a sorcery. Looks like the crypt or something. There's ghosts dancing on top of it. Beautiful Sky by Tony Suzuto. Got Crusading Knight in. Whoa, almost knocked down this pile. That would have been dangerous. Another Crusading Knight. Got a, uh, Oracle and Vec. Uh, Nomad Mythmaker. Two and a white. Ooh, Sarah Angel. Uh, white and tap. Put target uh, enchant creature card from graveyard into play. En uh, enchanting a creature control. How cool is that? So you put a, an enchantment card. 
from your graveyard to play on a creature you control. That's a pretty sweet card right there, especially for like equipment and stuff like that. Wow, that's awesome. Got myself a Sarah Angel. Got a Kithra's Wrath, four and two white. Destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. Uh, and have a threshold, destroy, instead destroy all creatures and put two one one white spirit creature tokens flying into the battlefield. Creatures destroyed this way can't be regenerated. So if you have a threshold, you put two ghosts on the battlefield as well after. Boom. From Odyssey. Got a Nomad Captain. Whenever uh, attacks, attacking creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. So two, two for one and two white. Creepy looking skeleton on his head. Got Elite Archers. Tap. Deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature. It's five and a white to put it out. It's a three, three. Just three damage to target attacking and blocking creature. Pretty sweet. Another Elite Archers again. Another Elite Archers. Got Flicker. One and a white, remove target, uh, non-token, permanent from game, then return to play under its owner's control. Cool. So you flickered in and out of his ex existence. I got a play set of those, actually. Cool. Reborn hero, two and a white. Attacking doesn't cause reborn hero to tap, so it has vigilance and threshold. When a reborn hero is put into a graveyard from play, you may pay two. If you do, return it to play under your control. It's a two-two, and if it dies, and you can pay two white, Return to the field, so it just keeps flashing in and out of existence. Cool. Got a couple of those. Got a Sacred Triumph. One in a white. As it comes into play, choose a creature type. Creatures of that chosen type gets plus one, plus one. How cool is that? But for soldiers or zombies or whatever you'd like, give them some power. That's awesome. Got one of those. I got a uh, Faith Healer. One in a white. Summon Clerk. Sacrifice an enchantment. Gain life equal to the sacrifice. Enchantment's total casting cost is a one, one. So if you need some life, sacrifice an enchantment. It's just a passive ability. How cool is that? Then I got a random play set of peaks <laughs> at the very end of the single card. So that was all of the single cards that I got. Well, like the ones that were just kind of spewed out throughout the boxes. Uh, quite a few. I'm just going to set these a little bit to the side. This is the pile of rares. These are the uncommons. So a nice little stack of uncommons. I'm just going to set these to the side as well. And this is the cards with uh, no rarity symbols before the rare. Look at that. And uh, this is, uh, I forgot the name of this set. I just thought of it. Um, anthologies? It's not anthologies. I can't remember it. Yeah, it's bothering me. I just thought of it when I was charging my camera. I can't remember. And then I got some lands right here. Just set these to the side right now. It did get a snow-covered mountain. I will do a little recap as well of all of the cards well, like uh, the ones that I think are noteworthy to check out as well. Some islands. These are just a few that I set to the side. Some like counter spells, dark rituals, brainstorms, whole bunch of dark rituals. Calling the week. Uh, just so many lightning bolts, cabal rituals, priest of Titania. Um, yeah, just a lot of cards right there. Set those aside. And this is actually quite a big stack of rares that I got. Mostly older sets. I can't believe that I found a deranged hermit, a play set of them, and one of them was signed. And anyways, let's just get onto the really cool part. I'm excited to see what is. In all of these to the side right there. If I thought that what I found was in the piles of card were good, I'm um, I'm in curious to see what I'll find in here. Um, I guess I'm gonna just try to take these out of here. Yeah, I'm just gonna take them out because uh, I feel like it'll be easier. These are a little bit dirty too. These uh, booklets. I'm be curious if there's just one in there or what. Take one one of them out at a time, one booklet at a time. All right, this one is cleared. It looks like I did get a foil. Got a hollowed healer. Two in white. Tap, prevent the next two damage that will be dealt to target creature or player this turn. Threshold, prevent four damage that will be dealt to creature or player this turn. Beautiful foil from Odyssey. So right now I have two foils going on. Love these older foils. Got a Doom Cannon, another rare six. As Doom Cannon comes into play, choose a creature type. Three, tap, sacrifice a creature of chosen type. Doom Cannon deals three damage to target creature or player. Cool. Got a natural emergence, two, a red and a green. Comes into play, return green or red enchantment you can hold to the owner's hand. Lads you control are 2 2 creatures with first strike. That's sweet. Turn all your lands into 2 2 creatures with first strike. That's awesome. Got a future sight. Play with the top card of your library revealed. Everyone can see it. You may play the top card of your library as though it were in your hand. Cool. So, like an extra hand, extra card in your hand. Greener pastures, 2 and a green. Uh, I believe I found one of these in there earlier during your upkeep. If that player controls more lands than other, that player puts a sapling token into play under his or her control. Treat this as a 1-1 green creature token. Yep. Got a death. March 3 in a black. Whenever a creature comes into play, that creature's controller may have target creature of his or her choice. Get negative 3, negative 3 until end of turn. 
that are redlec uh, reckless assault, um, a plague, a ship's navigator. There's quite a lot of cards to go through right here. Um, I think that they're all rare too. We'll kind of just go at it. Yeah, just kind of, kind of go at them. So many going on right now. I'm gonna take these ones out of the packaging as well. Some of these have seen better days, kind of like dirty, but that's okay. Definitely a bunch of cool cards here. Really excited to see these. Um, and they're rare. It looks like a foil rare from Odyssey. How cool is that? Got route. Let's see. Got myself a archivist, divine presence, a Cepheid retainer, route. I got a clone again. Got a, a rare, a foil rare. Pulsating Illusion, four and a blue flying. Discard a card from your hand. Pulsating Illusion gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. I think that's a rare. Play this ability only once each turn. It's hard to tell. It could be uncommon. Not really sure. Put that in the foil pile. Glorious Anthem creatures control get plus one, plus one. Put four white, uh, one, one white citizen creature tokens into play. Get in town. At the end of your turn, tap all lands you control. Bizarre. Looks like another... There's quite a few pages of these as well, so I'm just going to stop on the ones I feel. And I believe they are all rare. And older sets too as well. Really excited about this. Uh, looks like there was two in there. So if there is multiples, it looks like there is multiples in each of the pages. Yeah, this one again has two. I got a foil from Torment. Beautiful foil. Stupefying touch. Look at these. They're so clean. They don't even bend. Beautiful. When Stupefying Touch comes into play, draw a card. Enchanted creatures' activated abilities can't be played. One in the blue, make that creature stupid. Just because your eyes are open doesn't mean you're awake. Boop. So I got another foil. I got a temporal adept. I got two of them. Uh, Drifting and Dinge. Uh, Rain uh, Academic Chancellor. I got two of those. I got Delusions of... Uh, what is this? Uh, mediocracy. I got Charisma. Cool. Whenever enchanted creature is dealt damage, uh, whenever enchanted creature deals uh, damage to a creature, you control that creature as long as charisma reigns in play. How cool is that? Uh, Zephted, uh, Constable, Aether Barrier. Quite a big pile of rares going on right here. I see a Vizildrix in the next page. These are honestly some great cards. And then again, there was two in there. Such a big stack of rares. Can't believe it. Oh, this is actually the one I pulled. Mercadian Masks. This was the rare I pulled from the pack, if you've seen that video. The art is beautiful, drawn by Ron Spencer. Oath of Scholars. Uh, Balif, got two of them. Shaking this rich person upside down. Possessed Avian, got two of those. Battle of Wits. Reigns of Power. Blizzard Elemental. Three and blue, tap, untap it. It's a 5-5 five, five flyer. Return all creatures to the owner's hand. How cool is that? A crocodile. Look at that. Cool art. Two and a blue. When a player has no cards in hand, a veal crocodile is an enchantment. It becomes a 4-4 four, four creature. That counts as a crocodile. So if they have no cards, it becomes a 4-4 four, four creature. A vandal. So many cards going on right now. Looks like I got a couple of those. Vizildrix. I opened up a 7th edition starter set. It does come with the Vizildrix. The classic 7th edition 6-6 beast creature. There's this Persuasion. Just pulling these all out right now. Honestly, great collection. Way bigger than I thought. Way more stuff than I ever imagined, to be honest. Decaying Soil. I believe I opened this up in my Odyssey pack. I could be wrong. Uh, Mana Maze. Cool. Uh, Blood Color. False Memories, Persuasion, Benethic Behemoth, Island Walk 7 6 Creature for 5 and 3 mana. Look at that big old fish eyes, big red eye, and his huge tail. Vizildrix, Dawn of the Dead, and then V Build. Look at that crazy art, definitely by Ron Spencer. Looks like some sort of flying creature. This one guy's got like a mace, he's gonna hit it. It's coming right at him. Comes into play with a 1 1 counter on it. During your upkeep, you may put a 1 1 counter on it. When it attacks or blocks, destroy at the end of combat. So, I would just let it sit on the battlefield for a while, let it build some counters, and then attack with it. Maybe win the game. Looks like I'm onto a bunch of black creatures now. 
Looks like I got... This one has three of them. He's a vampire. Pyrexian Arena. I know that card's pretty decent. Research. Uh, Infernal Genesis. A Master card. What is this? Instigator. These are some great cards, to be honest. The ones in the folders look pretty clean. Instigator. Uh, Nightscape Master. Infernal Genesis. This is from uh, Prophecy. Desperate Research. Pyrexian Infiltrator. Pyrexian Arena. I remember this card. It's pretty good. Then you have your upkeep. You draw a card and lose one life. Extra card draw. Revenant. Repentant Vampire Odyssey. Remember that card when I was a kid. Uh, what is this? Necrovolver. Boom. Looks like I got a Singer Vampire coming along in the next packet. Quite a few cards here. Abyssal Horror. I remember this card. Look at this one. Whoa. This is like way off center. Do you see that? It's like way to the right. That's that's insane. That's bizarre. I'm putting that one to the side. That's crazy. <laughs> that's pretty bizarre. I've never seen a card like that. Even on the back, you can wait. You can see it way better on the back. That's cool. Setting that one to the side. Never seen a card like that. What an interesting little collection. Singer Vampire from Torment. Ill-gotten gains. These cards are just so much fun. Mortal Kombat. Wow, that's a good card as well. Another interesting, uh, different win condition. Got two of those. Two and two black. At the beginning of your upkeep, if 20 or more creature cards are in your graveyard, you win the game. Fun. Ill-gotten gains. Uh, Singer Vampire. Apprentice Necromancer. Planner Despair. Abyssal Horror. Got two of them, but look at this crazy one. It's way off center. You can see it on the back. Set that one to the side. Abyssal Horror. Cabal Shrine. Witch Engine Skeleton Scavengers. This is so cool. These are amazing cards. Got a couple of those. Sleeper Agent. I remember that card. Uh, Breaking Point. Got a couple of those ones. Looks like an Alliance card. Got a Balduvian Horde. Interesting. Uh, Reckless Ember Mage, Lurking Scourge. Got two of those. Got a Breaking Point, Mind Warp. Got a Sleeper Agent. When Sleeper Agent comes into play, target opponent gains control of it. During your upkeep, Sleeper Agent gets deals two damage to you. So you play it. Your opponent gains control of it. It's a 3-3 for one, but they take two damage each of their turns unless they can get rid of it. Car was cycling. Move from the game three target cards from a single graveyard. Hint of Insanity. There's quite a few left. Let's just see it. Now I'm onto red cards. Looks like some Shivan Dragons from M10. A Magma Phoenix. There we go. I forgot earlier I found a Goblin Lore. That's a pretty great uncommon. Probably one of the more expensive uncommons in the game that I can think of. Well, from recenter sets. Here we go. Looks like I got a Lithopage. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Lithopage, unless you sacrifice a mountain. It's a 7-7 seven, seven for 5. But we gotta sack a mountain. Siege Gang Commander. Boom, that's a good card. Filling Manticore. Shivan Hellkite. Oh, kind of cut that out of there. Crimson Hellkite. Crimson, I got two of those. I got a Bloodshot Cyclops. Got three of those. Got a Magma Phoenix. Actually, you know this card. A Volcanic Drake. Unaffected by Summon Sickness. And two Shivan Dragons. Lift up a little bit the camera. Still going. Looks like some of these are missing a few spots. I'm not sure if they picked them out. It looks like a foil goblin coming up on the next page. Goblin Festival of Ancient Hydra. Looks like I got myself an Ancient Hydra. A Stand or Fall. Goblin Festival. A Petrodon, Vashino Sin Skimmer, Skull, Scorcher, Bulwark, Puppeteer's Verdict. Flip a coin. If you win a flip, destroy all creatures of power two or less. If you lose a flip, destroy all creatures of power three or greater. It'd be great for a goblin deck because most of your creatures are probably smaller, but there's a chance you could wipe them all out or, or not. Yeah, but fun. Looks like I got a foil in this next one. Quite a few pages left. I'm just kind of going at it, having so much fun. So many older cards I 
I was really not expecting the magnitude of this collection at all. At all. Got a Festering Goblin. Beautiful card. Great condition. So clean. Um, when it's put into your graveyard from play, target creature gets negative one, negative one till end of turn. One black to one, one summon goblin. Great for zombie or goblin tribal. Perfect. Got Overmaster. Keldon Twilight. Savage Firecat. Hellbent Raider. Minotaur Explorer. An uncommon. Still going. Still so many going. Looks like I'm almost finished with the red cards. On to some green after. And then we'll see. I'm curious what will be after green. If it's going to be colorless or artifacts or lands or what. I have, I have no idea. Just kind of going at it. And I like how there's actually some multiples of each card in here too. Got a Bloodhound. Got uh, Electrite. Bloodhound. Cool wolf. Battle Squadron. Sulfuric Vapors. Got two of those. Possessed Barbarian. Got two of those. Uh, Scorra Worm. Got uh, Bolother the Scout. Bedlam. Pretty good. Creatures cannot block. Boom. All damage just goes right through. Looks like I got more cards coming on here. Just pulling them all out. So many. Really so many. Oops, looks like there's three in there. Whirlwind. I know that card. Ancient Silverback. I see you right there. Nope. Looks like there was two. Got a Sky Shroud. Behemoth. Beast with Fading. Ancient Silverback. Which is the generation. Tempting Worm. Got Whirlwind. Hidden Herd. One green. Whenever one of your opponent plays a non-basic land, if Hidden Herd is enchantment, because of the 3-3 creature that counts as a beast. Cool. It's Hidden Herd. Grimming Demon. Uh, it has Morph. Um, play down for 2-2. Two, two. And morph it up for two and two black. Thicket Elemental. Planeswalker's Favor. Two and two green. Uh, three and tap. Target over his cards are random for his or her hand. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the revealed cards converted to mana cost. Cool. And we just keep going. Looks like another foil. Just looks like a foil common. So much fun. Defense of the Heart. I know that's a pretty good card as well, to be honest. Hidden Predators. So many wonderful cards here. I can't believe it. This is really great. Hidden Predators. Got two of them. Got Morrow. Number of cards in your hands. Uh, mine. Uh, what is this? M Midsummer Revel. Defense of the Heart. This is a great card. During your upkeep, if one of your opponents controls three or more creatures, sacrifice Defense of the Heart. Search your library for up to two creature cards. Put those creatures in play. Shuffle your libraries afterwards. That's a great card. Got two of them, actually. Icy Elemental. Hidden Gibbons. This big pile of rares is absolutely wild. Dual Nature. Sprawling Infestation. Primal Frenzy. Give your creature Trample for one green. A great, beautiful foil from Odyssey. The corner has a little bit of bent, but you know what? These foils are just absolutely perfect. Just keep going. Just never ending. Just a couple more pages left, it looks like. Looks like there's quite a few in here. Mm -hmm. Having so much fun with this. Just such a blast for me. Call of the Wild. Be curious to see how much this is. Verdant Succession. Uh, Verdant Touch. Call of the Wild. Reveal the top card of your library to all players. If it's a card, it's a creature card. Put it into play. Otherwise, bury it. Be great for a creature heavy deck. Sectum uh, Crosion Protector. Three green. Uh, tap and untap Druji Control. Add green to your mana pool. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Another uh, Triton and Song. These all set here. In Flame Sanctuary. Got a Manga, manga Worm. <laughs> a Thrissus Knuckle Plime. Living Lands. All four are one-one creatures that are still lands. Cool. Still going. Just a few more pages left here. Looks like another foil. Mm -hmm. There we go. Two more of those. Penumbra worm coming on there. Gia's Herald. Looks like a place out of those. Might of the Oaks is coming through. Two of those. A 7th edition and a 10th. 
Looks like a 7th edition and a 10th edition of Might of the Oaks. Got myself a play set of Gears Herald. Creature spells can't be countered by spells or abilities. Can't be countered. Uh, Penumbra Worm. When it's put into graveyard from play, put a 6x Black Worm Creature Token with Trample into play. How cool is that? When this dies, throw out another worm. Uh, Centaurs. A Dinge. Uh, Bifurcate. Search your library for a copy of target creature card. In play, put that card in play, then shuffle your library. Cool. What is this? Bargainite? Bargaining? One green. Whenever an opponent plays a land, you may choose a land card from your hand, put it into play. Great enchantment. Wow. A cultivator. And another uh, foil. A slithery stalker. One and two black creature. A nightmare horror swamp walk. It's a one one. When it comes into play, remove target green or white creature. An opponent controls from the game. That's pretty sweet. When at least play, return move card to play under its owner's control. Boom. Lovely art too by John Avon. Lovely foil from Torment. Coming to a, a slow a slow close here. Royal Assassin. Some, some newer cards at the end it looks like. Uh, Exathrid Demon. Looks like I got a Mythic. I didn't expect to find Mythics in here just because I thought these were all a little bit older, but I wasn't really sure. Uh, Mega Bane Armor. Got two of those. A Royal Assassin, Captain of the Watch. Looks like a very old land right here. Two of them. Heart of Yavamaya. Not really sure about that card. Not what, what it's about. We'll check it out. It's from Alliances, though. Got a Nightmare. Might of the Oaks. Uh, Colonian Behemoth, Mirfolk Sovereign. Two Heart of Yavamaya. Comes into play, sacrifice it for it or bury it. Add green your mail pool. Target creature gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. That's pretty sweet. It's a land that can give your creature some strength. These are from um, Alliances. Wow. And it looks like I'm coming to a close here. Coming to a close here. And let's just see. The last one is, well, there's one more page after this. Dinge of Wishes, Mind Spring, a Foil Earthquake, uh, deals X damage to each creature without flying in each player. It's a Foil Earthquake, Guardian, uh, Sephra. And the last little page that I got, let's just open it up and see what is the last amount of cards. So we've got a couple of those ones. There we go, and that is the remainder of them. Got Elvish Piper. Got Ant Queen, one in green. Put a one one green instant creature token in the battlefield. It's a five five for a three and two green, a foil, beautiful. Mesa Enchantress, a foil clone, and then a clone itself, Voice of Woods. I remember this one, it's the Elf Lord, tap five elves, put a seven seven green elemental creature token, we trample into play, Might of the Oaks, the last one I got, is Gargoyle Castle. Add one to your mana pool. Five tap, sacrifice Gargoyle Castle. Put a 3-4 colorless Gargoyle artifact creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Boom. Absolutely crazy. This is such a big stack of rares. These ones just don't have our rarity symbols on them, so I'm not sure if they are rares. Well, there's a couple actually uncommons in here. And uh, a small little lot of foils. Really like the older foils here. I'm just kind of showing you uh, what I had in case you tuned in to the very end of the video. Um, and there's also, where is it, where is it, all of these ones as well, and then this is, this is a, ones that I thought were notable, got a bunch of counter spells, bunch of dark rituals, uh, calling the weak, dark ritual, counter spell, brainstorm, calling of the weak, cloud of fairies, rancor, some goblin lore, that's a really good card as well, I'll put that to the side, uh, brainstorm, avalanche riders, dark ritual, lightning bolt, just cabal rituals, priests, got a playset of the priest, and then some dark ritual, absolutely great, these are just cards that are, the rarity symbol isn't colored, so I'm not sure which ones are rare or not. But these are also great cards. Some Stronghold, some Tempest going on, Weatherlight, 4th uh, and 5th edition, some Visions, uh, Ice Age, again 4th and 5th Ice Age again, some Homelands it looks like, some Mirage, um, Alliances even, Ice Age, uh, I even saw some Starter in here as well. Just some great cards as well. Thumb through this one as well really quickly. Just to give you a, a little idea in case you're just tuning in now to the very end of it. Lovely. Some dark as well. I did get some really old cards. Just a couple. Uh, I can't remember the set name. 
it's not anthologies. I can't remember. This is the set symbol. It's not anthologies. It's uh, antiquities. There we go. Two cards from antiquities, actually, which is pretty crazy. I don't think I have any from antiquities. And uh, a few revised cards. Just a, a real small handful of revised cards. And then um, a whole bunch of commons. Like a whole bunch of commons. Let me just try to get them on camera right now. Let's just see. Here is commons. Commons. another stack so these are the comments that I have I'll just set these in the background for now so they don't knock them over and then a big stack of uncommons quite a big stack of uncommons um, not sure what's what but uh, there's just a whole lot of different variety Urza's Saga, Urza's Legacy, Urza's Destiny some Kamigawa even pretty sweet and then just a whole bunch of really old cards a bunch of older rare some newer ones but most of them tend to be older like judgment uh odyssey prophecy urza saga urza destiny there was a six edition planet shift um just great cards like these are sweet these are absolutely great uh dragons just can't believe everything that i got and it's really a nice little collection i got mortal combat great card uh ill-gotten gains pyrexian arena uh, Vildebild, Vildodrix, False Memories, just like all these cards. Such a great little collection I got. This only cost me $25 and $8 and I think 50 cents for shipping. Wasn't so bad. Check the beginning of the video. I showed you the actual price I paid for it. And it's just very impressive. And I actually got, uh, my favorite cards that I got was honestly right here. A playset of Deranged Hermits and one of them is signed. That's so cool. That's so cool. I don't know if that increases the value or what, but that's awesome to me. So honestly, an amazing collection of cards. Super excited about this. Just wanted to share it with you all, open it up with you all. And I did get this very bizarre Abyssal Horror super off-center card as well. Almost completely uh, missing the black border on the side of it. Pretty bizarre. I've never seen a card like that. Anyways, just wanted to share this with you all. I did get a few lands as well. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. And... Yeah, just, just so much fun to open this up, look at all these cards, check out some of the older art, and just see what we got. Never buy lots online expecting to make money. Just do it for fun. Expand your collection. See some new art. See some cards you've never seen before, and just have fun with it. Just want to say thank you all for stopping by. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. And, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Hopefully, you guys made it to the end of this video. I know it's very long. Thanks for sticking in there. Keep on keeping on, and I'll catch you later. Spread the love.